Yeah, let a real nigga eat, man. Give Breeze his money, let him keep playing, man. Shout out to Drew on this new deal. All this shit is over with. We, we don't got to deal with that shit. At least, turn this down a little bit. At least for this year, you know, we don't got to worry about hearing that bullshit throughout the year. Shit go a little left, and then we gonna, shit just gonna be all fucked up. But, anyway, man, shout out to Breeze on this deal. I really don't even have to say much, because he deserved every penny of that extension. You know, I know it's a year extension, but pretty sure it's gonna be extended more, you know, in the off season. But, you know, at least at this point, he's for sure to be locked up for this season and next season. Guaranteed. I was down for that um, four year deal that they was that that was rumors and shit. But if that would have been the real shit, I would have been down for that shit as well. Like I said, I know that's money out the ass, but if you look at the previous seasons we've been ass. You know the past two seasons. You know he had seventy five to eighty percent of the reason why we won seven games. He he was. 70 to 80 percent of the reason that we pulled out seven games these past two seasons. Where they had an average quarterback, we probably would have been sniffing, sniffing three wins. So we we can't we can't do this comparing the to Tom Brady and shit like that. Tom Brady, hell yeah, I can understand why he take a pay cut when you got your team as a whole playing great. Then yeah, then then yeah, I, I can understand, you know, if he didn't want to take a pay cut, Drew. You got a defense giving up historic yards and shit, and then we talking about Ben taking a friendly deal, which he he did take a, a friendly cut on on this one. Is he supposed to be due thirty mil this year alone? So that's a that's a, a few mil, you know, that he he giving up. So he just going he gonna make forty four within the next two. So that's about twenty two a year. But he would just do thirty itself for this upcoming season. But anyway, man, let me run this shit. Shit, man. Let's get on to this Raiders shit. W D here. Let's get off this social network with this bullshit, you know, about the season and stuff. The season ain't got here yet, so there's no reason why we should be. A few of us are coming to conclusions. I don't even know why, you know, if the season was concluded today, why in the hell is we worried about the Oakland Raiders for a week one game? The shit hadn't even popped off yet. We, we got to just relax. Hell yeah, our preseason was some ass. I, I know... The shit was ass from the starters to the backups. Well, really, certain posi um, position groups, you know, our old line, definitely you could see it. You know, we, we got problems up front. That is a concern going into this game. But since that's a concern, that doesn't necessarily conclude our season. You know, of what's going to happen to our season. Drew, he's still going to be able to make plays with the ball, but at this age, our line should be not allowed, you know, rushes just to get to Drew like that. Drew don't need to be moving around like that at age 37. His, the line should be way better. He should be better protected up front at this age. Or it's going to be more shoulder injuries and shit. Zach Straight, if you remember that. And hopefully this Sunday... After Khalil Mack give Zach Streif the ass whooping of his life, then then maybe we can do some shuffling with Zach Streif. Because I, I don't understand why Zach Streif got a job to this point with us. And it's no shot to bro. You know, he done gave us an amazing 10 or so years. I think this is 10th year. But he done gave us an amazing amount of years in New Orleans. You're a Super Bowl champ. You know, it's, it's, it's no disrespect, but it's just that time, man. It's that time to take a backup role or your ass is out of the N.O. That's that's just how it is, man. Everybody's time come, and your time is now. But 
they don't think it's your time now, so we're just going to have to rock with it. But by saying that, Khalil Mack, Khalil Mack, I don't even have to explain too much on this dude. We already know. We already know what the deal is with him. He's arguably the best pass rusher. It's neck and neck with him and J.J. Watt for us being able to pass rush the quarterback. And I doubt that he's going to line up on an all-pro left tackle in Armstead. Even though Armstead, he won't be 100%. I don't think he's going to be 100% Sunday. But I still don't think Khalil Mack, when he watched that um, tape this week, He's going to line up against Homestead. He's going to go over there with Street Fat and going to give him the ass whooping of his life. I'll be shocked. I'll come on here and do a, a video straight to Zach Street if Zach Street hold his own up against uh, Khalil Mack. What I mean holding his own is winning the matchup. But, like I said, I thought Pete would have been done. They would have threw Pete out there since he's more athletic. You got these young DNs, especially in our division, and we play in the NFC West, you know, where we're going to need athletic tackles. We have one in Allstead, and Pete is more athletic than Street, but enough with that. I don't even know who's going to start at the guards, both guard positions Sunday. You know, shout out. For us bringing Jar back to the fold, you know, I didn't personally think you should have left in the beginning, you know, that was just due to refusing to take a pay cut, you know, you was going to eat up some cap, but I didn't think you was supposed to leave in the beginning, I thought Street should have been the one that left over you, but it is what it is, you're back in the fold, you probably going to be out there start Sunday, which... You know, you already know the system, so it is what it is. You're better than <laughs> Tim Lolito. I'll take you over Tim Lolito. And then we're going to have Pete at left guard. I hope that's where they keep Pete at. They've been shuffling them around all preseason. Doing that definitely didn't help the O-line. So maybe that could have been part of the reason. Taking away from Pete just getting his ass whipped against um, Cal Long. Not Cal Long, Chris Long. But, yeah, Chris Long was just giving them the ass whooping of his life, you know, first preseason game. But, it's no excuse. I ain't taking up for him. You know, you, you could have played better. But, it is what it is. You, hopefully, you'll turn it around. But, as far as the Raiders, you know, just say Khalil Mack doesn't play. You still have Bruce Irvin, another pass rusher. He's probably an outside linebacker as well as um, Khalil, but they're going to be rushing the passer. That's 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 their strengths. So either way, our, our tackles are going to be challenged. I just hope Teron is 100%, you know, so our line as a whole going to be, you know, challenged. Uh, Mario Edwards, he out for 10 weeks, but, uh, you know, they still got some pass rushers, so... Yeah, they still got pass rushing, man. So, uh, you know, and then they backfield. They got Sean Smith out of Kansas City. You know, he he straight. Then you got the rookie from um. Now he's not a rookie, but um, old bro from uh West Virginia, uh Carl Joseph. Is he a rookie? Nah, yeah, he he a rookie. Came out this club, but yeah, bro, he straight. You know, he can lay some heat on you. You know, they, they got pieces back there in the backfield. I mean, as, as a whole, they got, um, they got old bro from the Seahawks. Used to play at the Seahawks. KJ Wright. I mean, so they, they got pieces over there. It looks good on paper. Better than whatever they done had before. But, you know, they got to go out and improve it this year. But, they're not going to prove it Sunday. And it's all these Raider fans talking, you know, that yip yet. Y'all haven't done shit in almost 20 years. So I don't think, why is y'all, you know, coming on here taking jabs and shit? I'm not even making this. It's, I'm not going to be making it no hate week going up against 
you know, a team that ain't done shit for years. It's the same as the Bucks. I get, I'm gonna give Bucks attention just the fact they're not division. But it's nothing relevant about them besides Jameis and what they could do in the future. But that's another team for another day. You know, but with y'all, y'all ain't done shit in years. And y'all got cats, I don't even, one of us Maddie on the mission, I forgot the other one. Y'all coming on here, yip yapping. Like, bruh. Y'all don't got, y'all don't got shit to hold y'all's weight, man. Ain't seen the playoffs in years. So, I mean, so just, just stop it, man. Hope that y'all can start out one and know this year. Which you're not, but, I mean, shit, shit whack, cuz. But anyway, man, yeah, that's that's just what it is. Our defense, you know, we're going to be better than last year. You know, we got two rookies back there. We got two rookies that's going to be starting. We got um, PJ, I consider him a rookie. He's going to be out of the outside corner. And then we're going to have um, Devontae. He's going to be our nickel back. And we're going to run a lot of nickel this year, I think. So, you know. Hopefully the rookie mistakes, you know, don't hurt us because it's going to be rookie mistakes. Hopefully it's just not a lot of rookie mistakes, you know, but that's just what it is, man. We're just going to have to roll with it, you know, fairly. I believe you're going to hold it down. We, we got we got pieces, man. We're we going to look better this year, but I'm just saying, who that nation? Let's don't come to conclusions. It's time to get right. You know what I'm saying? Algiers, he came out with a video yesterday, turning up, getting the WDN hype. JP made a video the other day, getting the hype. I'm ready to hear from B. Slaughter, Minister of Defense. Shit, 504 Flamer, who that for life? Everybody in this shit. It's, it's a, we the deepest ball club on this shit. We the deepest fan base on YouTube. So many in the bit, Nate, Anthony Ziola, one crazy who that, Sean, it's, it's just so, it's so many names on here that I, I can just say, we deep on here, let's get it popping, man, Breeze, we should, shouldn't be no more convo about it, he, he gonna be here for a minute, so let's just chill with that shit, and then Sunday, you know, the chips gonna fall where they made. Like I said, Breezy, he gon' still make shit happen. We just don't need to have him under the rest like that. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is, fellas. Let's get these videos aired out and get shit cracking, man. It's your boy CB. I'm out. Yeah. Kid, kid, N.O. nigga, speak to him, man. Hey!